leave on the back. <laughs> They called me Frogger as a little kid because I would always bounce around. No, don't hop in the middle, cat. I was really, really athletic, and I kind of had um, a little bit of an aggressive tendency. When I wasn't doing sports, I had struggles with where to direct my energy and, and how to entertain myself. Just in the door. Look at him. <laughs> Principal. There was a coach, and he said that I should probably come to wrestling one day, you know, and I was like, I don't know. Once I heard that this one boy was going in there, I decided I would show up. It was the biggest challenge I'd ever experienced. It was my will against somebody else's will, and there was no feeling in the world like getting your hand raised. There was people that they didn't like seeing me there, you know, and it was hard too because a lot of those people were moms, you know, and, and I get it. If they beat me, they beat a girl. But then too, like, you don't want to lose to a girl either. Before you knew it, I was good at wrestling, and one of the days my coach put me up against the boy that I went there to go see. And yeah, I pinned him, I beat him. I don't know, after that, I, I didn't crush on him that much anymore. There was a few different colleges that were throwing scholarships my way. Oh, look at that, Jesus. But before I even got there, I got a staph infection in my knee, which completely destroyed it. And after that, I never really wrestled again. This is what I do twice a day. 